Hi, Jeff Higley with Hotel News Now. We're here at the IHIF in Berlin. I'm sitting with Sebastian Bazin yeah. from Accor. Sebastian, thank you for taking the time to uh, to talk to us today. Great to be with you. So you talk about uh, about your brands, and they they they, they are very wide uh, in terms of the, the from from economy to to luxury. How do you describe the portfolio, and where do you see it growing the most? Which brand I, has the most opportunity? I describe it as being very coherent. And you know, the, the budget economy segment in which our core enjoys a 40% kind of actually uh, market share in terms of revenues and profit, it's a very stable, growing, cash flowing machine. Why? It's because 90% is local demand consumption. It's very much linked to growing population in emerging market, first experience, first access to them to the hotel sector. We have the brand, IBIS, we have 1,750 hotels, and we open one IBIS every three days in the world. So IBIS is a very good, credible, visible brand. Let's go for it. And then obviously, the more you go on the scale, the more you're going to be depending on personalization of service. But that's fine. I mean, I guess we, we have the team and we have 40 years to back us up on having done rightly. Mm -hmm. so. What region of the world represents the, the most opportunity for you? you you're very active in, in Latin and South America. Yeah. Uh, is that kind of the next frontier for you? It's, there's no barriers for any frontiers. We just have to be disciplined. So Europe is over two-thirds of our revenues, should remain two-thirds, and we're very happy, fortunate, proud of that presence. So we're going to be defending that leadership. No question, we shouldn't be kind of actually evading from it at the, uh, at the benefit of the emerging countries. At the same time, it is true, pipeline, 70% of pipeline is in emerging countries. Why? It's because Europe is becoming a mature market, so you can expand, but not as rapidly as you could in Latin America. Mid Asia Pacific, we're going to be opening 750 hotels in the next few years. Half of those are management contracts in Asia Pacific. We're very strong in Australia, Indonesia, New Zealand, Southeast Asia, China. It's India going very fast. We also, we've been in for 25 years in, in Brazil. Brazil is a big hub for us, so now we're expanding Chile, Peru, Colombia, Argentina. Uh, it's going fast as well. Mm -hmm. Middle East, we have to get stronger. It's a great market. African continent, it's a must. It's going to be a booming market. We've been there 40 years, but we have to basically assess all the political conditions. The real question is, should we open new territories? That's really what the answer is for me. Probably not. We have enough territories today that I guess we service not to go and diversify even further. And where does the United States fit into that plan? Well, you know what? I've been living in America. I love the U.S. market. Um, we just, we missed it. Uh, it's been, place been taken by very good professional U.S. operators. Nobody's been waiting for us. Uh, we have very good presence for Sofitel, tiny presence for Novotel. It's, it's actually a very difficult question because should we get there uh, and should we go there? Organically, we can't. It's going to be taking us ages uh, to go one by one and it's not going to be functional. Making acquisition, this is really not in the plan. Uh, the way I'm looking at it is the U.S. market is the enormous outbound feeder market. I have to get my brands visible because I need the U.S. travelers to experience our core brand elsewhere. We just have to reassess how many brands for how many territories. No one could afford to have 14 brands in 93 countries because you just should not be lying to yourself. Brands is something which is very good as long as you defend the brand, as long as you put actually people and money behind it in terms of marketing campaign, in terms of website, in terms of everything. So I just, it's going to take us, it's going to take me and the team, the executive committee, 12 months probably for me to get back to you on what's sh what should be done differently. So one thing that I guess I'm learning and looking back in the mirror, my predecessors have done, have, have done a very rational decisions on recreating on the IBIS label the economic, the budget segment, which was formerly Etap Hotel. Mm -hmm. So we went from 1,000 to 1,750 under this IBIS label. That was a very good decision. So you need the brand to be stronger, bigger, to be more efficient. We're fine.